Hello everybody, it's your girl Bria Van Kooten and welcome back to Bria Loves Music. We are back with another music video reaction. And yeah, the second one for the year, second one for 2023. Today we are gonna be talking about Janet Jackson's I Get Lonely music video and song. One of my faves, one of my favorites from Janet. I love this freaking song. Every time I listen to it, it just puts me in this transcendence this mood you feel good and then when i watch the video it's everything so of course i've watched the video before of course i've heard the song before duh i am a janet fan but we're gonna watch it here on the channel and talk about it so without further ado let's get into the video come on come on no one calls me that Hey, give us Tony Braxton vibrato. This song is a bop to So of course, Chloe and Halle Bailey <laughs> are gonna get visuals because duh, it makes no sense. Look at the material. I'm living for the aesthetics. And of course, I will make sure to link the full music video down in my description box. You guys can check it out and watch it. If you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. If you have watched it, of course, watch it again. But yeah, y'all, let's get into it. Oh, hold on. Let me turn off the closed caption because I don't need that. Ah, uh, like that smooth. The way it smoothly just comes in with the guitar and piano chords are so, so good. Like, we gotta go back, we gotta listen to it again because it's so good. That just captures you in and you're like, ooh, what is this about to give? Like, And then the choreography, like we gonna see, we gonna see. The choreography that it gets into is so, so good. Like even though the song is smooth, is R&B, it definitely has a hint of hip hop in there. So the choreography, it gave smooth, but it was hard and hit and it was direct at the same time. Ugh, we gonna, we gonna see, we gonna see, we gonna see. <laughs> Even the looks, like look at it, look at her. The all black with, and then she has the red hair. So good, everybody has on the all black. Of course she has on the all black, but it has the white button down with the corset, the fedora, the red hair. Like, I love it. Cause all of the looks were black, but that red hair was the standout. Like, ah, uh, that's why the velvet rope is my favorite, favorite time of Janet. Like my favorite era. I love the velvet rope, especially with the red hair. Like I stand, I love. I did, I recreated one of her Velvet Rope looks for Halloween 2021. I'll put some pictures so you guys can see. But yeah, love the Velvet Rope era. And yeah, the Velvet Rope is my favorite Janet album, if you guys didn't know, if you watch it. If, you, if you've been watching my channel for a while. Okay? But yeah, let's get back to it. <laughs> Cause one thing about it, Jenny gonna have some rain. We're gonna hear it in the track. We're gonna see it in the music video. She's singing this sad love song, and then she's singing by the window, car window with the the rain on the shield. Like, we love it. Y'all saw that leg? Ooh. How that leg just flipped over? Ha! <laughs> like, y'all see how smooth the choreo is? Like, see the attention to details. The inside of the car that she's sitting in. The red. We have the all black, like I said, all black looks red here. And then the details of the inside of the car is red. Like, that's supposed to be the standout look. Because the video is supposed to be dark. We're singing about a... It's a sad song. I get lonely. Like... And then the red is the pop of color. And red signifies, you know, fire. So it's like, ooh, 
I'm I'm sad, but I'm still coming through. It's fire. I'm still blazing through. See, 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 see the significance. <laughs> this look is so good. I'm gonna have to recreate this for when I go to see her um on tour in May. She's coming to New York in May for the tour. Ah, the together yeah tour. I'm so excited. Yes, I have it. We haven't talked since she announced her tour. You guys, if you don't know, Jen announced the together again tour. So excited. Finally, I'm finally, finally gonna get to see her. She's coming here. She's coming to New York. She's coming to New York in May. So me and my friends White are gonna go see her. But I think I'm gonna recreate this look right here with the corset and the tie and all that for the look that I'm gonna wear to the show. This is probably gonna be the look. I wanted to wear like, I always said when I see Janet, I wanna wear like some leather or latex shit. <laughs> but being that it's May, New York, you never know. Cause May could be warm, but it could also be cool so you really never know but yeah i think i'm gonna recreate this i'm definitely gonna do a vlog for the show i'm gonna vlog like me going to the concert what's going on behind the scenes all that so definitely stay tuned it's gonna be my first probably my first vlog here on the channel if i don't do a vlog before then but i'm definitely gonna vlog the janet me going to the janet tour. Ah, i'm excited if you guys got your tickets let me know comment down below let me know when you're going and what state country whatever all that comment that down below are you excited yeah comment <laughs> ah, like when that scene opens up mm, titty sitting honey so sexy this video like this video is so sexy and the song is sexy even though she's singing about being lonely is a sexy ass song This breakdown was so sexy too. Ha 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 ha. Mm. Cause you gotta get that timing right. The dun the dun 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 dun. <laughs> like that timing. Even when she performed it live, when she performed it live with this whole breakdown, she the timing was always on point. Like, you know, she's a professional and she's been doing it. So the breakdown that part always gets me when she performs. When I watch the performance live. We'll probably do the live performance one of these days. We'll watch it. But always good. And then there's also a remix with Blackstreet. And that remix is also good. She has multiple remixes. But the one with Blackstreet is really, really good as well. Yeah. We gonna we go, we go, we go, we go dissect I Get Lonely some more. Because there's other there's remixes, like I said. And then there's the live performance. We not done with I Get Lonely. <laughs> hey. Hi. Yes. A bop. Always gonna be a bop. Such an amazing song. Like, every time I listen to this song, I have to listen to it again because I just feel like it ends too quick for me. <laughs> so good. Like I said, so smooth. R&B jam. Making being lonely sound good. Making it feel attractive. Making it be attractive. Like, it sound good to be alone. Like, so good. The video is beautiful. She looks great. The looks are great. And yeah, a classic Janet song, classic R&B track, and I love it. I love it. One of my faves, one of my favorite Janet Jackson songs, like literally. I love this song. I love the video. Every time I see it on my timeline, like people post like the clips of the video, I have to, re I have to retweet it every single time because the cinematography is so beautiful like go i'm gonna link us i'm gonna link it down below go sit and watch it and just be like wow like the cinematography the choreography is so so good like it, you're gonna be mesmerized like that's how i feel like when she busts through the door like walking through like you're like wow <laughs> 
wow that's how i feel watching this video and i feel watching the um i get lonely video not the original there's the remix one the slow remix that video is beautiful she has this like black silk dress on with the red hair oh that video she mesmerized me in that video like for real for real beautiful and i wouldn't be me i wouldn't be bria if i didn't give you some fun facts <laughs> because i love a fun fact and i love knowing things because i love having new knowledge in my head but janet actually also sampled i get lonely in two of her other songs which that's so fire when you can sample your own music like you are that girl you sampling your own songs <laughs> she sampled it in two other songs First song she sampled it in was on the 20YO album. It was Get It Out Of Me. In the end of it, hold on. Cause every time I listen to this song, hold on. Next track. Next track. <laughs> like, when you can sample yourself, like, stop playing with her, okay? She not one of them. <laughs> and then the second time she sampled it was in the Unbreakable album. She sampled it in one, oh, another one of my favorites, Damn Baby. She sampled it again. So if you haven't, if you didn't know before, go re-listen and get into it. Janet has actually sampled herself in multiple songs. If you listen to her whole discography, like I've sat and listened to all of her albums, all the music, and I've heard like different arrangements of tracks. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. So really, like I said, get into her discography. I will make sure to link the full view to what am I saying? I will make sure to link the full music video down below in my description box so you guys can check it out on your own. Of course, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel to see more. Follow me on my social medias at Bria Van Kooten and at Bria Loves Music. I will see you guys in the next video. Go check out my previous videos. Peace. Love. That's it.